Hey people, welcome. We're going to be making some curry udon from the leftover curry that we got. So let's start off with some water. Uh, what you want to do, bring that to boil. Once that's brought to boil, then you can add your udon noodles. When you add your udon noodles, let me just say, when you're buying them actually, make sure you get good quality ones. If you can get, go to a, a local Asian store, find some good quality Japanese one. It really does make a difference in how they taste, the texture and all that lot. So what you want to do, follow the guidelines on the back if you can read them. These ones are in Japanese, so I had to ask my wife, but it takes 13 minutes to actually cook. But as you start it off, give it a good stir so it doesn't stick together because udon noodles usually have quite a bit of starch left over on them and they'll end up sticking together. So you just give them a bit quick stir at the beginning just to keep it all separated. Once that's all boiled after 13 minutes, I'm going to run that under some cold water. Now this is to get rid of that leftover starch so when you add it to the soup, it doesn't become a big thick mess. So run this under cold water, uh, just keep sort of separating of your hands and all that lot and it will eventually be all right to go. Look at that slow motion, oh my god, right there, advertising for udon noodles. Check it out, delicious. And once that's all run under the water, what you're going to do is you're going to put that straight back down and just leave it somewhere to drain off. They may need another run under the water before you add them to the pot, but for now it should be good. So what we're going to do is now we're going to make the base for our curry. So what you're going to do, you're going to add your water first and then you're going to add mensu. That was 200 mils of water and it was 50 mils of mensu. The mensu can be replaced by dashi. I'll try and include a uh, recipe in the description for that. But we're going to add the leftover curry that we've got. This is Japanese curry. This is, uh, I think, the Java one that we usually use. But I'll put a description for one that you can get to make that. And we're just going to stir that up. Make sure it's nice and stirred. And you can see it's thinned it out nicely. But because it's so flavoursome, you don't lose much flavour. Right, and now we're going to add some of that age. I think it's called age. I always forget the name of it. But uh, it's not necessary. We add that because we like the texture of it and it's just great. Give it another little stir and let it come to boil. Afterwards, you're going to uh, lower the boil and add some potato starch. Only need a teaspoon or two and that should be good. It just gives it that shine and that stickiness and deliciousness. And unfortunately, I forgot to add the video of me adding noodles. So just add the noodles to the bowl, then pour the curry on top. Easy peasy, great leftover, defo worth a try. Look at that bad boy. Although remember, with udon noodles, when you eat them, you usually want to wear a bib because I'm going to get this all over me. The only downside to this is we probably could have done with a bit more water, but it's going to be very thick, very full flavour. Just looking forward to try this. Mmm, 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 <laughs> really good, and just leftovers. <laughs> 